Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Creepy Waves FM Train Depart. This looks pretty cool because it looks like a train experience, but something goes horribly wrong on that train. We are about to figure out what that is. Are you guys cool with that? You down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! June 25th, random day in the middle of the summer. This story, it's not something I tell often. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I ever would. It was during one of those hot, stifling summers where you just have swamp ass. The kind where the air feels heavy and time really seems to slow down. There wasn't even really in that sentence, I just really wanted to put really in there. I was 16 and for the first time, I was traveling alone. Wow, congratulations! My parents had gone ahead to our gathering by plane. I'm such an asshole for no reason. I'm a hairy butthole for no reason, everybody. Me, I was taking the train to meet them. You know, there's something about being alone on a journey that makes you feel more grown up than you are. I had my backpack, my phone, and laptop. Felt like an adventure waiting to happen. When the train started moving, I felt a mix of excitement and a little bit of worry. But I had no idea what was really ahead. I thought it was just gonna be a straightforward ride, but it turned out to be a zig and zag type of ride. Trainjet messaged me. How do I check that? I actually don't know how to check my messages. I should not be going on this train ride. I don't even know how to check my messages. But I got a message from Trainjet. Hold on, they slid into my shit. I need to answer that real quick. But, hello, excuse me, pardon me. Can I talk to you? Ooh! Nobody wants to sit next to your five head anyway. Is this taken, ma'am? I'm a bit worried about the border control. They always seem so strict. I just wanted to know if somebody was sitting here, but okay. Daddy promised me to buy a puppy when we get back home. I have the best father in the world. Well, little do you know that your dad is lying. I always check our luggage twice. You can't be too careful these days, especially with the stories you hear. I have heard no such stories. Please enlighten me. I've taken up gardening. It's quite therapeutic. And I've taken up listening to your weird ass. Ah, uh, train rides. They remind me of simpler times. What, back in the 1920s with your old ass? Life's tough, kid. You gotta be tougher. How the hell do you know if I'm tough or not? Come on, man, you barely know me. Can't even talk to this guy. I'm looking forward to our golf getaway. It's a tradition among our friends. Hey, old man! I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to this dude in the pink button-up. And that's not even a pink button-up. I do not know my colors. Where can I sit down? Do you need help, old timer? Yeah? What? May I please get past to my seat? Sorry, is seat 36 in this wagon? Do you know where I can find a toilet? Yeah, because your scary face is making me want to shit my pants. Are you kidding me? Right near the entrance, where it always is. It's my first time on a train, man! Traveling has its own charm, doesn't it? Reminds me of my younger days. Calm down, Grandpappy. I guess this is not the way to go. Door to the toilet was locked from the inside. This is giving me fears to fathom vibes. Can't go that way. How do I get past this bitch? May I please get past to my seat? Oh, absolutely, your highness. Thank you, peasant. Dumb bitch. I have a few good friends. We like the same games. Your friends don't like you. They secretly talk shit behind your back, but hey, who am I to judge? Sorry if you seem shy. He's got a big heart. Always thinking of others. I just hope the world sees that in him too. I don't really give a fuck, but okay. Uh-huh. Is this my seat? That's not my seat. I'm so glad because if I had to stare at your face for four hours, I might just jump out that window. Nobody wants to talk to me. Oh, this is my seat. Okay, put my stuff up here. Nope. Okay, that's not my seat. What's everybody up to? We're planning a little treasure hunt when we reach the city. Kids love exploring new places. We're visiting family. And kids were excited about the trip all summer. I think that they'd rather just go on their iPad. They're clapping because that means that they don't have to spend too much time with you once they get to the vacation spot. What the- Before sitting in my seat, I should have stowed my backpack away. There you go. And yeah, this gives me fears to fathom vibes. Has the same type of graphics too. But here I am, just chilling. How do I check my texts? Please tell me how to check my texts. I want to check it so bad. My mom's the only person that texts me? I am down sad. I'm a down sad, down bad boy. Oh, it's escape. Okay, so my text with mom says, 
We're heading to the airport right now. Flight's at 11.30. KQ, bunch of shit I don't care about. Got it. Your sister is excited to see you. Bought you a lot of presents from the trip. Tell Lenka I've got surprises for her too. Who? Your father mentioned you haven't been answering. Sorry, I was busy packing. I'll call him in a moment. We're flying off. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Mom, you'll be fine. Enjoy the flight. If you're worried about planes, does that mean we should worry too? I'll call you when we land. Love you. Nah, I only get scared on planes I'm actually on. You guys are totally safe. We've landed. Did you pack everything? Great to hear. And yeah, almost done. Packing still in progress. I'll call you in the evening. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Okay, what did our mom say? Have you left already? How's your seat? Everything okay? Yeah, we're on our way now. Found my seat all right, but you know some people here could definitely be nicer. I'll text more once we're further along. Just setting up my laptop for the journey. Good day. Your seat number is 36. Please take your designated seat upon boarding the train. Thank you for choosing train jet. I didn't choose it on purpose. It was the cheapest thing that I could afford, so I went with it. Remember, organization is key and keep your phone charged. Charger's packed and I have a power bank. Okay, so the dad said, all right, travel safe. We're here if you need us. Looking forward to seeing you. Thanks, dad. See you soon. I'm not gonna lie, everybody. My laptop must have been in a backpack. Not my backpack, in a backpack. So let's start robbing some people. But let me get my backpack. Wasn't planning to take it right now. Towels, wasn't planning to take that right now. Books, and there is my laptop. I should have placed the notebook on the table first. Bro is really instructing me, huh? Okay, sensei, teaching me all the ways. But what I was gonna say was that I personally don't like flying either, but I know that's one of the only ways to see the world as fast as you can. So I've traveled, I've sucked it up, but I promise you, I hate it. 12.05 AM? Midnight? After the stroke of midnight? Vaklav. Who the heck is Vaklav? Man, you online? Arm wrestlers too? Sorry, man. Train Wi-Fi. Just needed to log in. Want to play the clicker before we arrive. But yeah, I really don't like flying on planes. I get anxiety. I think it's because of the lack of control. I don't like it when I can't see where I'm going. Nowadays, I feel like there's so many things that can distract you on a plane so you can take your mind off it. Like if you have access to Wi-Fi with your phone or iPad or if you want to play a game or if you can fall asleep on a plane. I personally never have fallen asleep on a plane because I'm always thinking about shit. But, you know, traveling from plane is one of the best efficient ways to see the world. So I'd rather see the world and be scared of flying than never flying and never seeing the world. So let me use my laptop. Let me stop talking. And that's my desktop, I guess? Or this is just a clicker game. Okay. I don't want to keep doing this, but I guess I'm going to keep petting this cat. Oh, wait. Hey, excuse me. Can I get one of those? Oh, my... The fuck? Sorry. What can I get you? They really just, like, get down on their knees like that when they ask you shit? Croissant plate and lemon soda. Burger with fries and mint soda. Japanese style cake and strawberry soda. No, I need something good. I need a healthy, nutritious burger with fries and mint soda, please. I'm afraid we don't have any soda. I can get you some water with the meal. Sure. I will bring your order a little bit later. Thank you. Don't know why she crouched down like that. Train was quite modern and it was... Okay, I couldn't even read that. But let me just keep playing my laptop game. I was thinking about going to the toilet before my meal is ready. Oh, yeah. I have to take that pre-meal shit. So let's get up. And we've literally talked to everybody that we can talk to, except you. We've hosted some memorable dinner parties recently. I love the thrill of it. I shouldn't have talked to you. I regret talking to you so hard. Just go to the toilet. Just do my thing. There was this strange bag in the toilet. Mind your business. <laughs> if there's a strange bag on a train, just mind your business. It can't be good. It was strange that someone left a bag full of uniform in the toilet. Yeah, just take your shit and go, bro. Please tell me that wasn't a diarrhea. My food could be back any minute, so I return to my seat without second thoughts. Not even washing your hands either. That's kind of crazy, no? That's kind of wild even for me. But yeah, I hope that was a number one and not a number three. But hello, ma'am. Is my burger with fries and water ready? It better be. It's not... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's cool. I mean, this is my first luxury train ride, but it is what it is. 12, 21 p.m. It took a whole 12 hours for me to get my burgers and fries. Good lord. Damn, I'm inhaling. The Only the bottom half? 
I only ate the bottom half. What the fuck do you want? I'm sorry. You are the gentleman that wanted a soda? We have found a pack in our storage. Enjoy, please. Thanks, man. Why is there a straw in it already? Fortunately, they had a few more. That's a service. They should not have opened it because then I would never want it. Like in real life, if somebody gave me a can of soda with a straw already in it and it was open, I would probably throw it back in their face. I'm kidding everybody. I'm a giant puss. I was so thirsty that I drank all the soda in a single gulp. Calm down, bro. It's not a race. Relax. It was warm and had this strange taste, but I was happy and hoped it wasn't lying there for years. Soda can was empty. Plot twist. It was lying there for years. So I guess he liked eating the bottom half of the burger and then the top half for later. Dude really gets freaky with his food, huh? But I think I'm done eating. So let me get up and be on my bullshit. After the meal, I wanted to spend some time on the walk or I could just play my laptop. Let's talk to this guy. Let's not talk to that guy. Let's talk to you. The longer this train takes, the more it wears me down. You're literally just sitting there with your legs crossed doing nothing. Stop being a lazy bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Something very off about this lady cheesing this hard. And this man looks so worried. You know, I've always had a keen sense for when things aren't quite... <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. I'm never doing old man a voice again. I've always had a keen sense for when things aren't quite what they seem. On a journey like this, it pays to be observant. I'm observant. Did I say observant? Isn't that the asshole from earlier? What now? You don't see I'm busy here? Busy doing what? Staring up at the ceiling, playing with your asshole? Don't let this fancy train fool you. In this life, you learn to watch your back. Out here, it's no different. Once again, what are you talking about? Nothing. You're not talking about a thing. What about you? Bro, mind your freaking business. I'm trying to talk to my new friend over here with the button up. God damn. Do you like trains? I prefer cars. They feel safer and more fun. Do you know any good spots to visit at our destination? Always looking for local gems when I travel. I'm literally 16 years old. What is your problem, old timer? Sometimes I think my daughter gets whatever she wants from her father. It's a bit too much. Why aren't you her mother? Why don't you put your freaking foot down one time, Rebecca? This man looks sus. I'm not gonna lie. He's been antsy this entire time. What about you, Grandma? Our friend is quite the storyteller. Between you and me, I think half of her tales are embellished, but they do make the journey more entertaining. I just nod and smile. It's our little routine. It's my little routine to listen to your bullshit, but I think my routine has ended. You don't want to say anything? All right, cool. Nobody in there. I wasn't planning to go there now. Okay. I think we've talked to everybody that we can talk to. You said it's you, right? We're off to buy him new school supplies. He grows up so fast, it's a full-time job being a mom and dad both. Sometimes I imagine what it'd be like to travel the world, like in the video games. Huh, interesting. Wait, is that my seat? Oh, okay. So I guess I have to use my laptop now. No, wait, I'm getting very, very sleepy. Talking to those boring ass people makes me very, very... <laughs> Just fall asleep, fucker! God damn, I'm <sighs> trying to set the mood! Thank you! How long is it gonna take for this man to fall asleep? Goodness gracious, I'm trying out here, everybody. Suddenly, I felt a strong drowsiness. To be honest, I always had one after a good meal, but that one was more something. I guess I read too slow. And it was as if I could not resist it at all. So I guess he got drugged with that can of Coca-Cola. Who are you people? What is this shit? This isn't a train, is it? 16.08 PM. What time is that, everybody? That's uh, la 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 la. Uh-oh, they know. They know what I've done. Oh boy, <laughs> you all didn't see me here. I was asleep for a long, and this man in my dream, we must have already reached the border station. I need to take a little walk and get some fresh air in the lobby. What the heck? Why would someone make three pages long booklets? Not sure, bud. Not sure at all. I always tell my boy, you've got to be strong in this world, but he's more the gentle type. 
Mun says there are people who transfer illegal stuff in those trains. It's like something from a movie, right? Kind of cute. What now? You don't sound busy here? Busy doing what, dude? Like, be real. You're not gonna say anything, are you? You're not. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. I enjoy observing people on the train. You can see all sorts. Just last year, I saw someone who looked like they were up to no good. You look and smell up to no good. Yours in my line of work comes top of my observation skills. That's curious. Shut the fuck up. You already said that. All right, where do I go? I wasn't planning to go there now. What do I do? I made sure the door was closed before using the toilet. Oh, I need to use it again? Another number three? My food could be back any minute, so I return to my... What? What food? Hold on. I did not know of no such thing of food. Is that the police? You all didn't see me here. <clears throat> ID and ticket, please. Traveling alone? Yes, my parents are waiting for me at the destination. Huh. Luggage contents? Any prohibited items? Just my clothes, some books, and snacks? Huh. Always ready, son. Guess additional search isn't necessary. I know. My parents told me to. What? All right. Move along. What about my food? I would like my second round of burgers and fries, please. Border control officers seem to be quite tense, but finally decided to leave me alone. Train started leaving to the last station just after he left. My throat still hurts from trying to do that old man voice. What was that? Oh my- What the f- <laughs> Would you like to order anything else? Just one more soda, please. Sorry I told you before, we have no soda, unfortunately. We had an unexpected shipment delay. But your colleague said you found last pack. Second steward? Sorry, I work alone on today's shift. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. That kind of gave me the chills. That kind of gave me the chills that kill. And I would show you all the chills, but you can never see it through the camera. You know what? I'm going to show you all the chills. Look at the chills. Look, I'm not flexing, but look at the chills. No lie, that is kind of creepy, though. Do you feel okay? You don't look well. I'm fine, I, I guess. You are probably tired. We will arrive soon. Please call me if you need anything. I think I need a doctor. I think I've been drugged. That man that was in my dreams. Freddy Krueger? What are you talking about? There was nobody in your dreams. That was a real ass man who gave you some soda, right? Wait. Hold on. Was looking for something in my luggage. Oh, that's right. Okay, let me check. So... Uh-oh. Strange bag. What's in the bag, baby? For some reason, I thought it would be better to check what's inside in the toilet where no one will see me. Can I still talk to people? Ever get the feeling someone's not what they seem? I tell my son, keep an eye out. Spot the odd ones. It's a strange world. Mom's always careful, but I think deep down she likes adventures too. Cool, man. Nothing wrong with being a mama's boy. I too am a mama's boy. So let's see what's in this brown bag before I get in my bag, baby. Oh shit, is that drugs? I wasn't sure, but this thing looked like drugs. They show in movies. Oh fuck. Okay. What do I do with that? Um. I don't know how high that note was. Like, I, I don't, I don't know the, the. I don't know like the like how high that note was, but. Oh, fuck. Uh, come on, man. Like seriously, like who the who is this guy? Like whose man's whose man's is this? Hi there, little boy. What did you do with my little present? What did I do? Sorry? Yeah, the present. I am traveling with it to my old friend. Did you tell something to the police about it? No, no, I wouldn't. Now listen to me very carefully. If you want to be safe, you're coming with me and sit on your seat until the last station. And remember last thing, you do something funny and it will end up badly for you and for your papa and mama. Come on, go forward. 
What the fuck? Don't be shy. Go on. Dude, it's right there! Just grab it and leave me alone! Locked! Wait, where do I go? Wait, my, my seat. Don't you want me to go to my seat? I'm... Okay. Okay. Great. Wait, what? Open it now! Or you know what we'll be after. I didn't even know! What the fuck? No way. I thought I was supposed to go back to my seat. I'm sorry. I said open it. I just need what's in the bag. I flushed it. You did what? I will bury you alive under this train. Open this goddamn door now, I said. What? I didn't actually flush it. I'm a liar. I don't know why I lied. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't kill me. Oh. Huh? What do I do? Bro, I think I pulled my pants. I don't know what to do. Do I throw it out the window? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. God, please tell me there was a way to survive that. No? Was that all a dream? Was that a dream? <gasps> Wait! How am I supposed to beat that? I'm not gonna lie, everybody. That jump scare was insane. I think because it was so freaking loud. And he just caught me so off guard. I didn't know this game was gonna be scary like that. But it definitely gave me like a fears to fathom vibe. So I just need to take a number three again. And then what do I do once I get inside the toilet? Because it doesn't make any sense. I hate that noise. I hate that noise. You son of a fuck. Okay. Like, I don't understand. It was locked. What do I... How do I, like... Come on, look. Here. There. Bro, it's yours! I don't understand. Not now. Open now or you know what we'll be after. He was able to break the door. He was able to break the door. I said open it. I just need what's in the bag. I flushed it. It's literally outside, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh. I didn't know that I could do that. I thought I had to click on it. Okay. How do I... Thank you for traveling with Trainjet. This is the train board service. Are you okay? We had an emergency call from this toilet. Please open the door. I'm not opening! So, if we break the glass, then the emergency alarm goes off? That's pretty clutch. That's pretty clutch if I do say so myself. Oh, never mind. A few years have passed since this incident. My parents had many meetings with the police. But in the end, everything turned out all right. Our family was provided with protection and even received a certificate from the city. And little by little, memories of that event have faded. But since that day, I have started traveling by plane. Smart choice. They always say it's the safest way to fly. Mostly because there's so much order with planes. Like, no plane will ever fly at, like, the same height. And they won't, like, collide with each other. If they follow, like, the regulations from, like, the control towers or whatever. So it's the safest way in that way. But, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> people get scared of, like, turbulence or just being in the air like that. Or just, like, the takeoff or the landing parts of the plane. I hate most of it. I don't really care about the turbulence. I just feel like I hate not being in control. But this isn't even about the plane. This was actually a really cool experience. I didn't know what to expect from this game. I just took a chance and wanted to see if it was cool. And I ended up having a lot of fun with it. I guess mostly because I was kind of just roasting every character on the train. But that jump scare scared the life out of me. I cannot believe how bad that scared me. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video. This was, I guess, like a true experience of someone on a train when they were 16 years old. Hopefully you enjoyed me playing it. Like I said, if you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.